Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, thanks for watching. In today's video I am going to be doing my monthly budget setup for June and I'm also going to be using some different stickers from the Happy Planner sticker kits, um, the sticker books rather, and hopefully this spread will turn out to be a summer explosion because I really do feel like June is going to be a great month um, for good weather and things like that. So without further ado, let's get into this. So the first one I do want to grab is this one. And that's just because I would really like to use the ice cream stickers in here. There they are. Because it is my birth month, birthday month and I just think these look really, really cute and I've been saving them for a long, long time. So I'm not going to, um, I might just go ahead first and quickly white out all of these dates. Okay, so that's that job done. So next I'm going to use my little exacto knife as well to cut some of the stickers. And I'm thinking about I might just wipe this out as well okay so there we go it's pretty much a blank spread now so what I'm going to do is I'm feeling like just doing so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and decorate all up this side with little ice cream cones and see what it looks like after. Okay, so that is the edging done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, hmm. Don't want to decorate any full boxes until I put the dates down, and I won't do that until I have fully decorated everywhere else. So I'm thinking I might just go ahead and put these balloons on here. So that's that finished. I just need to go ahead now and trim off the excess and repunch the planner. Okay, so that is that finished. Now, the only thing left to do is to add the date dots into the monthly overview, which I think I'm going to need this sticker book next, which is the dates and holidays one. And I'm going to use, hmm. I don't know whether to use party colours or classic black and white. I might use party colours just because I feel like that's where the theme's going right now. So why change it? If that's how we're going, then that's what we're sticking with. So I got paid on the 28th, which was a Friday. So here. There we go, and that's the first one down. And I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and whiz through this video now so that you don't have to be bored to death watching me apply date dot stickers everywhere. Okay, so that is all of the date dots down for this month. The only one that's sharing is this one, um, which I don't think is too bad really considering. Okay, so next job is, I don't think there's anything else on this one that we really need. Um, we ended up using all these boxes. So that just gives me, um, I don't think that's gonna fit. But I might use this one, just because that is cute. I might just put it hmm. 
oh this is annoying I wish I hadn't picked this one there I might just put it back see and this is the problem sometimes you pick things and you think they're going to work out great and then they don't <clears throat> so next I'm going to look for this sticker book is honestly one of the best purchases I've ever made it's just perfect for me it has everything that I need most of the time there they are okay so not sure I might go this colour just because I think that's going to work best so I'm going to put that there and then I might just do a happy day I might use the other colour though okay I'm going to use this pinky yellow one and I'm just gonna layer it like that there we go and I do actually have other birthdays I have one I might just go ahead and put them on here as well and I think the other one is actually here so I might just leave that for now and see if I can find a smaller one somewhere okay so that is the monthly done pretty much all we need to do now is go ahead and put down the bills now this is where it gets a little tricky because I might use colourful again why not this is where it gets tricky because my monthly bill for my car is going down so I had a letter from the finance company to say that so far I'd paid like an extra thousand pound off on the car um, and they weren't sure how they wanted me to do it whether they wanted me to reduce my amount of monthly payments or reduce the amount that I pay per month so that's what they've ended up doing they've just calculated it based on how much I've paid so far as extra um, it's going to have the same amount of payments so it'll still end in like 2025 but the amount I'm paying every month is getting lower um, hopefully to the point where I'll just pay it all off early anyway um, so either way it works out the same either you have less months on your contract or you have the same months but a lower repayment um, so mine's actually dropped quite a bit because initially it was like 168 and now it's dropped to like 150 um, but I plan to make up the difference as an extra payment still. So even though I'm only paying 151, I still plan to make a payment of 168. Um, I'm just gonna count for the difference when I calculate my monthly bills in that way instead. So for everything else, it's staying the same. This is my monthly spread, and the only thing I might do is grab this sticker book because it has some oh, these are cute don't think i'm gonna fit them in though never mind but I'm, i really like these transfer stickers they're just really handy to use so i might go ahead and use those so i'm gonna put those there as well just so they are nearby and I'm going to grab my dashboard as well okay so this is my dashboard that I use which has all of my monthly bills on and I'm just going to use that exact thing to plan in all of my bills so here we go first is that one pen you might do this after no i'm gonna do it as i go along so union these are 1603 second is insurance this is actually due i think next month and it better come down because 
I actually managed to get it lower than what I was paying before. Um, but the problem is when you get a new car mid contract, they know they've got you unless you're willing to leave. Um, oh, I've just done that wrong. Honestly, what is wrong with me? Okay, concentrate. It's okay, I've got a spare. <laughs> so, as I was saying, this is the problem. When you get something with contract, they know the only way you can leave the contract is if you pay it outright. Um, or you have to pay the difference to stay with them, which is often cheaper than paying the bill outright and leaving them. Um, and that's kind of where they got me, unfortunately. Um, but I am really hoping that I can come out of it after this, um, that it will go back down to roughly 30, but we'll see. So my new car payment is 151.50. Okay. And then HP Instant Inc. is the one that's killing me right now. And I really need to find out what's going on with it because it's definitely not right. I'm just going to stick that there. I'll just label it HP Inc. Currently set at 9.99, but like I say, my last one went out at 23.99, which killed me. And then this one is next. Might go for another green. Okay, and this is Microsoft which I don't think I'll have to pay for very long. I think I might actually be getting it sorted through work, so I won't need to pay for that anymore. And the last one is my phone, which is on the fourth. I might use up these. We'll go with this colour. There we go. And I just budget 40 for that because normally it comes out very close <laughs> okay so those are the bills that are coming out like direct debit bills that are going to be coming out and then i'm really tempted to do different ones for this. okay let's just do this first savings transfer is going to go it here Ooh. there we go and that's my 50 pound that I always put so I might just put it here so 50 pound went into savings and then if I can find these are really chunky just carry on using these okay so next one is here and this is the house probably gonna have to put more towards this but for now 650 has gone into it and the last one I think savings house Oh, I have two savings, don't I? That's right. Okay. And this is where it's going to get a bit trickier because we have our kitchen being done, which I forgot to tell you that they took the payment for part of the kitchen, even though the kitchen hasn't arrived yet and the kitchen work hasn't started yet. And um, we've already started paying for the kitchen, which I was a little bit annoyed about um but it's gone now there's nothing we can do about it but i also because we've just decided for now we usually put 200 pound each to emergency savings every month now the kitchen's going to be around 250 and we've just decided to take it from there um so we're still going to be putting towards savings it'll just be like 150 rather than 400 right now 
Um, and that's just while we tackle other things that we're trying to save for the house and get that done while the, the summer's starting. As um, soon as summer's out the way, I'm pretty sure we'll just tackle this and get it out the way. Um, because I'm thinking I would like a new bathroom <laughs> as well now. So that's the next issue. Um, I might just put it there. Okay. And I am going to put 200. So I know that's gone out and I know where that's gone. Okay, so that is that done. And I can't think of anything else right now. There is debt as well, but I normally just put... In fact, if I can find them, I might just put one down now to save the effort. There they are. I might just put one of these little colourful boxes. And I might put it in here. that okay and then I believe or at least somewhere you normally get ah, little icons and I'm pretty sure there's a car one there it is okay so I'm just gonna pop it in there and I ended up paying um 115 extra towards debt um as this month's payment and then obviously anything else on top that i managed to sort of save or find the money for that will go towards it as well so i think that's it i have got this space at the top but i don't think i'm gonna find anything that will fit that i really like um and sometimes you can be better off just leaving it rather than filling it in for the sake of it i don't really want any more no i think i'm just gonna leave it yeah so that is it for my june monthly spread and i'm just gonna go ahead and bring this back in pick these up Okay, I really need to sort this planner out because it's getting a little full. Ah, there we go. And this is where. There we go. I think that's it. Yeah. So that is my June monthly spread and my budget with me i hope you enjoyed this video and you could see where i like to go with my spreads every month they don't necessarily have a theme but i do normally run with specific colors and it just makes me feel like i'm more on track with things um that's just how i like to do it and this one was mermaid because it was one of my best friend's birthdays in may and she loves mermaids this one I used just the um, Save Now Spend Later sticker book and this one I think was one of the older sticker books um, that was this one um, which kind of went with the Girls Wanna Have Funds planner that I used last year um, and then this one was Savvy Saver. So I'm currently really just waiting for any more budget sticker books that come out so I can run with those. Um, but for now, this will do, lovely. And please, if you are new here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And I will speak to you all again soon. Bye.